How's it going everybody? Welcome, welcome to the channel. This is your boy Mars. Today we got the M4 competition in the background. A beautiful, 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 nice car they gave us. Um, and I'm actually pretty happy with it. Um, the original engine it has some real nice power. And um, yeah, it overall looks like a really nice car. I honestly like it more lowered uh, than I do for like drag racing. But it is a really good drag race car. So it's going to be a, a nice grind for all you guys to get this car. Um, the easiest way is probably going to be in the auction house, to be honest. Uh, but besides that, I am going to probably host a big event where I'm going to give these out on a giveaway on the auction house for you guys to get. So stay tuned to that. For everybody new to the channel, like always, hit the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, let's get right to it, guys. I'm going to show you guys two tunes. One is going to be with the original engine fully built. And the second one is going to have a 2JZ engine in it that is really nice. It's about 13, uh, yeah, almost 13, 1200 horsepower. Um, so let's get right to it, boys. Let's go. We got the 2021 BMW M4 Competition Coupe. Let's go right to the upgrades. This is the one with the original engine. So let's go right in here. And as you guys are going to see, the original engine gives you 938 horsepower. And it weighs 2,900 pounds. So it's pretty good. Um, those specs there are, are really decent, especially for a modern car weighing around that weight uh, they all normally do uh, due to just technology a lot of more plastics and stuff like that um, but yeah really really nice love this color on this is like uh, mint green I honestly don't know the, all the names to all the colors but really 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 nice color um, and yeah let's put that engine let's leave it all alone on there and as you guys see the car is rear wheel drive um, I believe these are six cylinder engines that these come with and uh, they're really nice that's really 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 nice to get 900 horsepower out of it it's pretty cool so let's go here let's just fully built it we're just going to put all the parts on here race so it's very easy and simple just like you guys see there you go there you go I think the engine is called like the s58 something like that let's go here and of course rally guys make sure to put rally in the suspension um, it is a very very smooth suspension that we really honestly always been using for a very long time for drag racing no roll cage no need for that and then put the rest of the parts there race now coming towards here we're going to put everything race and also put the four speed transmission you do reduce some weights with the four speed transmission so that's really good to do that especially when you're making a quarter mile car and then the rest of the parts you can put race now drag to the well, right to the drag tires make sure to put these drag tires or not put the semi slicks these are the ones that are going to grip the most uh, and then you don't need no width in the front and then full width in the rear at 340 305s 305s in the rear besides that make sure to just slap in some really really lightweight wheels um, you get some pretty good options on here that you could put on there um, but I got these wheels on there they're super light and then we're just going to leave the sizes alone but you, as you guys can see bigger back size in the front if you guys want to put spacers go ahead but normally don't do it on a drag car and then you get some really cool BMW little body kit stuff um, which is pretty cool it's like little carbon fiber front lip and um, with little canards and all that stuff and then you can put like this spoiler on there it looks really nice it's a decent looking spoiler and also this is the weirdest thing I've never seen this right here this quad exhaust in the middle um, super unique super different um, I honestly like the original one more and as you guys see you can put the side skirts on there really 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 nice with the side skirts on it I honestly like the side skirts um, and the way they looks I think they are carbon fiber to you but you know especially when you make it for like stands or car shows and stuff like that really really nice option to do so that is it with that let's go straight to the tune guys we got 1.30 to 60 3.10 to 100 um, traps around 165 and the reason why is because that's the number that it normally traps in a quarter mile um, 165 is a good number um, if you can have it to trap 165 one of the biggest things I wanted to uh, see with you guys is if everybody is already up to date with doing a 4k launch um, reasons why is because I'm still showing you guys a 2k launch but the most efficient way has been a 4k launch 
Um, so in the comments down below, let me know what you guys have been doing. If it is the 2K launch or 4K launch. If you guys still don't know how to do the 4K launch, um, I will still do the 2K launch for you guys. So this tune is for a 2K launch, which is a little bit slower, um, significantly slower to be honest. Uh, but you get it with a lot easier to launch it at a 2K. But yeah, here we go guys with the final drive is 330. First gear is 380. Second gear is 220. Third gear 150, 110. Zero everything out in 7. 65, 65. Uh, soft in the front, stiff in the rear at 465, and then the vehicle rates all the way up. Then we got uh, 1, 15, 9, and 1. Nothing with this, and then we have nothing with this, and 100 and 100. So that is it with the tune and the build for the original engine. Really, really nice. Uh, lifts up really good in the front end. So let's take it outside really quick um, so I can show you guys um, how it sounds and drives. Still, every time I see the front grille, that huge front grille, um, I like it more on the M3 than I do on the M4. So we are here in the sandstorm looking really crazy with this color, lime green color. But let's get out of the sandstorm really quickly so we can honestly hear the car. Um, one of the recommendations that I do suggest is to take off that little wing on there. You can also reduce some weight. And take off that little spoiler there. Even though it looks good, it looks pretty decent with the car. I mean, how big is the sandstorm here? Alright, let's just fast travel real quick. That sandstorm is a huge. Didn't know it was that large. Um, so let's go here. Let's go to the quarter mile. Yeah, this is a quarter mile car. Um, so if you guys want to use more than four gears, it's real simple. You just use the same gears, numbers that I have here, and then you can just, you know, apply with more gears, like a six-speed or whatnot. But yeah, let's, uh, I'm in solo here, so you guys see so much traffic. But let's go to the quarter mile. The quarter mile is right over here, this pole right here. So right kind of at the middle of it is the quarter mile. Um, and to launch the car is super easy, just e brake and gas. Um, that right there is the lowest you want it to kind of do it like a rev and then drop back down so just move the car back and forth do it again e-brake gas that's the rev you're looking for right there that big rev now you're at higher rpms there um, as you guys see 15 pounds of boost torque is at 366 on that torque you know you got to do is just let go of the e-brake you get a kind of like a nice little smooth lift in the front there and then you can distribute rest of the gears very very easy trapping out like 162 163 is there um, a lot quicker you can get this thing on my personal tune I can get it to about 165 consistent 165s so it's uh, really nice and uh, remember you can always just do different things you don't have to fully build cars and also tire with and you can always play around with those as well so it's always little you know little pro tips there for everybody that watches the video fully um, really really nice suggestion on that end but yeah let me know in the comments down below if you guys are all really used to now doing the 4k launch which is e-brake gas and clutch and that's the 4k launch there as I call it it's at 4100 rpms um, but yeah to get there is e-brake gas and clutch you can tap on the clutch like that get it higher um, but that's the one we now been doing for a very long time now I mean it's been around the game's been around for some months now so that is the launch that I really, really strongly recommend all you guys to do. Um, but let me know in the comments if you guys are already used to that launch or just want to stay with the 2K launch. Because um, I can keep on making tunes with the 2K launch, but it's not going to be as quick. I really, really recommend you guys to practice that 4K launch. Practice that 4K launch. So now let's go real quick. Fast travel to the garage here and then let me show you guys the, the 2JZ one this one has more gears to it um, this one you guys can do in a half a mile so it's going to be pretty pretty cool so let's go and go to BMW and let's get into the 2JZ uh, 1200 horsepower nice I left it with a nice green on here too um, I like their colors man BMW makes some really really cool colors 
So now we go here, and now we have the, the Racing 2JZ, which is 1,200 horsepower, 900 foot-pounds of torque, weighs 3,000 pounds with his engine. And, of course, we are real will drive with it. Um, and now let's go to the build. It's going to be exactly identical. Uh, we're just going to fully build the car. And then we're going to put the same exact suspension parts and weight distributions and all that good stuff. So let's do the same exact stuff with the rally and all these parts on here. No roll cage. There we go. I'd like to always show you guys all the parts that I put so you guys are always up to date with it. As you guys see, I did put a race transmission instead of the four. Um, that's so you guys can have more gears just to like bring it out on the highway, cruise with it, stuff like that. So. And there we go, drag tires, no width in the front, full width in the rear. And then again, any wheels you guys like that are super light, got these TE37s. You can never go wrong with some TE37s. And the sizes, leave them alone. Leave the sizes alone. And uh, yep, you can take off the spoiler. That's what I did on here. I took off the spoiler from that uh, that little duckbill looking spoiler there. Um, I just took it off completely to reduce some more weight. And that is it. Let's go right to the tune. Here we go, guys. 30 in the front, 15 in the rear. 1.3, 2.7, uh, 0 to 100 there. Traps around 270s, pretty high 270s. And here we go. It's going to be 225, 290, uh, 210, 150, 120.056 gear. So you guys see this car is an 8 speed transmission, but we're only going to use 6. Zero everything out in 7, 65, 65. Soft in the front, stiff in the rear at 540. So kind of being around in the middle here between soft and stiff. Vehicle race all the way up. Then we got one, 13, 9, and 1. Nothing with this or this. And 100 and 100. So let's bring out the amazing 2JZ engine out um, and see what it does now in the half a mile. So here we go. We got this super nice dark green color with it. So let's go over here real quick. And to launch the car, again, same exact concept, e-brake and gas. Wait for it to drop like so. And as you guys see, uh, almost like two pounds of boost there. Torque, 454. And all you guys do is let go. And then just transition those gears very, very smooth. Um, as you guys see, that first gear, it just burst of boost comes out towards the end of that first gear. Um, and then you just transition to second gear and stuff like that. So 206 miles per hour in this half a mile, which is a little longer than a normal half. Um, but yeah, just e-brake gas. Wait for it to drop like so. And there you go, guys. 454 on that torque. And yeah, just, just real nice. Make sure to always burn out your tires. Get them to a really nice temperature, um, especially when you bring a vehicle out. Make sure to do that when you bring a vehicle out. Um, but besides that, let's go. Let me show you guys my settings before I wrap this up here. So everything turned off. I'm standard with steering wheel, guys. Make sure to be standard on the steering wheel. If you are in simulation on a rear-wheel drive car, you will spin, and it's not a good idea thing to do. Manual with clutch. Please practice if you guys are new. Practice manual with clutch. And then if you guys want to see that telemetry where you see the torque, you switch Anna to telemetry, and that's how you get that. So really, really nice car all the way around. Um, pretty, it's going to be pretty difficult to get, um, but I am going to do host some lobbies, some live lobbies, where I'm going to give these out for free for all you guys to have. Um, I do have quite a bit. I think I have about 20 of these. So just going to give them out for you guys. Just really want to support the community for everybody here to have. And, uh, yeah, like always, everybody that's new, hit the subscribe. And I hope you guys like the video. Enjoy. See you guys around. Bye-bye.